Dear students, it's Ms. Adams, and in this video, we're going to learn about density curves and normal distributions. All right, a density curve models the distribution of a quantitative variable with a curve that is always on or above the horizontal axis and has an area of exactly one underneath it. The area under the curve and above any interval of values on the horizontal axis estimates the proportion of all observations that fall in that interval. The mean of a density curve is the point at which the density curve would balance if it was made out of a solid material. Uh, the median of the density curve is the equal area point, the point that divides the area under the curve in half. All right, modeling with a density curves. Suppose that a timer for a video game has a randomly determined length of time after which an enemy appears. The timer is programmed so that the enemy is equally likely to appear at any time between 0.25 minutes and 2.75 minutes after the timer starts. Draw a density curve to model the distribution of random numbers be sure to include scales on both axes. All right, so we're gonna go from zero minutes to three minutes, counting by quarters. All right, this would be the length of time for the enemy to appear in minutes. It's going from 0.25 to 2.75, so I'm gonna draw a line above there. All right, it's equally likely, so I'm just making it a flat line. Okay, everything's equally likely. I need to figure out what this height is. Well, if it's equally likely, then I'm making like a rectangular shape. So area equals base times height for a rectangle. The area under that curve, even though it's like flat, is one. Base is 2.5. I did 2.75 minus 0.25 to get 2.5 times the height. I don't know what the height is, so I'm going to divide by 2.5 on both sides. I get 0 0.4 for the height. All right, about what percent of the time will an enemy appear between 0.5 minutes and 2 minutes after the timer? So I'm using my same model. So it's going from 0.25 to 2.75, but then I want the area between um, 0 0.5 minutes and 2 minutes. So I want this area in between. Area of a rectangle is base times height. So this time I want that area. I don't want everything under there, just that area. So it's what I'm trying to find. Well, the length or the base is 2 minus 0 0.5 times the height of 0.4. So 1.5 times 0.4 is 0 0.6 or 60%. Find the 20th percentile of this distribution. Well, the percentile is the percent of values that are less than that number. So I'm trying to figure out, like, I have 20% shaded. What is that number that it's going to? Marked with a question mark, all right? So I know that the area is going to be 0.2. I don't know what the base is, but I do know the height is 0.4. So the base is going to be some number minus 0.25. Now i got to figure out what that number is. So I'm going to divide by 0.4 on both sides. Um, and then I'm going to add... 0.25 to get x by itself, and I get 0 0.75. So 0 0.75 minutes is where the 20th percentile lies. All right, mean versus the median. A density curve that models the distribution of quantitative variables is shown. Identify the location of the mean and the median by letter. All right, so this looks to be skewed left, which it's skewed towards the lower number, so it's going to pull the mean, the mean lower. All right, so the median is resistant to outliers and skewness, but the mean is not. So the mean would be A, the median would be B, and the density curve is skewed left. So the mean gets pulled towards the skew. Also, if you had to find the area um, and you have this triangle, remember that area equals one-half base times height when you're working with triangular density curves. All right, a normal distribution is described by a symmetric single peak 
bell-shaped density curve called the normal curve. Any normal distribution is completely specified by two numbers, its mean, mu, and its standard deviation, sigma. All right, so these are normal distributions on the right here. The points at which the change in curvature takes place are located at a distance sigma on either side of the mean. Those are your inflection points. All right. Um, graphing a normal distribution. Many studies on automobile safety suggest that when driving, drivers of automobiles need to make emergency stops, the stopping distance follows an approximately normal distribution. Suppose that for one pickup truck traveling at 62 miles per hour under typical conditions on dry pavement, the mean stopping distance is 155 feet with a standard deviation of 3 feet. Sketch the probability distribution of x, the stopping distance from a randomly selected emergency stop, label the mean, and the points that are 1, 2, and 3 standard deviations from the mean. All right, so here's my normal distribution. I'm going to go and put a line down the center. This is a normal distribution with a mean of 155 and a standard deviation of 3. That's the notation we're going to put always when we draw them. So we're going to start with 155 in the center. As I move to the right, I'm going to be adding 3 each time. So 155 plus 3 is 158. 158 plus 3 is 161. And then 164. As I move to the left, I'm going to subtract 3 each time. So 155 minus 3 is 152. Minus 3 is 149. Minus 3 again is 146. So there's my normal distribution. All right, thanks, and see you next time.